Now with the kids, it's a little bit different. Uh, this is again a, a age and weight based dose. So if we talk about kids, uh, if you're greater than one year of age, and again, you can look on the CDC website, uh, and they typically will give recommendations based off of the time of year and, uh, and the strains that are coming in. So if you're greater than a year, um, and you're somewhere between 15 and 23 kilograms. And again, uh, on the last video, we talked about the conversion of pounds to kilograms. And what you do is you take pounds, you divide by 2.2, and that will give you the number of kilograms. So if you're going to treat with medications, uh, you need to know this, because most of the medications are given in terms of milligrams per kilogram. Uh, so you need to know how to convert. So again, kids greater than one year, and somewhere in the range between 15 and 23 kilograms, um, the dose is 45 milligrams two times per day. And again, that's for five days. So very similar to the adult dose in terms of twice a day for five days, but the dose instead of being 75 milligrams is 45 milligrams. Now, if we change our weight, and we go from 15 to 23 up to 23 to 40, this dose goes from 45 milligrams to 60 milligrams twice a day for five days. And then if you're greater than 45, um, I'm sorry, if you're greater than 40 kilograms, so you're above this 40 kilogram dose, then it's the same as the adult. Now they're very small kids, they're very young ones, and again, still greater than one year of age, and less than 15 kilograms. So these are the small, little bitty ones. This one is 30 milligrams two times per day for five days. So again, uh, if you think of the treatment as twice a day dosing for five days, um, that's the standard and it's just the milligrams that differ. So again, adults are 75 milligrams, the very small kids are 30, then 45, then 60. And so that's the dose of Olsaltamivir or also Tamiflu. Now there's another treatment, another antiviral um, that's used for flu. And that's Relenza. Zamivir. This dosing is a little bit easier than the uh, Tamiflu. Adults and kids greater than seven years. This is 10 milligrams inhaled. twice a day. For five days. So Relenza, instead of a pill, it's something you squirt up your nose. And again, it's a five-day treatment, um, twice a day. Uh, so adults and kids greater than seven years, uh, this is what you use. Not recommended in kids under seven. Now there's other treatments you can give to help with the uh, fever and pain and headache and one is uh, acetaminophen the abbreviation is this APAP um, but this is acetaminophen or Tylenol so 
an adult. The dose is going to be somewhere between 500 and 1,000 milligrams every four hours. On the kids, now on the bottle of, of uh, Tylenol or acetaminophen, it'll say about 15 milligrams per kilogram, or they dose it by that. But kids metabolize Tylenol a little bit faster than adults, so you can probably go 15 to 20. On my kids, I typically go with 20. This is milligrams per kilogram. every four hours. Now a lot of people talk about Tylenol toxicity and just so you know to take a to toxic Tylenol dose you have to take 140 milligrams per kilogram. So as you can see we're going to be well below that toxic range. So for Tylenol uh, very effective for uh, fever and headaches, very good drug, very cheap, uh, nice to have. The other one is ibuprofen, which is Motrin or Advil. And on the adult side, you can probably go anywhere between 200 and 400 milligrams. Uh, prescription strength ibuprofen is 600, 800, um, but that's probably only for the anti-inflammatory effect. You max out some of your pain relief at the 400 range. So if you're doing it for pain, there's probably not much reason to take more than about 400 milligrams. Now the kid dose is going to be 10 milligrams per kilogram, and both of these are going to be every six hours. And a lot of people would recommend taking this with a full glass of water. So again, that's not going to stop the virus or, or kill the virus, uh, but this will help with the muscle aches and fever. Now, something else to talk about with the antivirals, the Relenza and the Tamiflu. is you have about 48 hours from symptom onset to start the drugs. If it's more than about 48 hours, it doesn't matter whether you give the drugs or not, it really probably won't help at all. And you just have to suffer through the flu. So if you think it's the flu, or you're fairly certain it's the flu, you need to start treatment sooner than 48 hours. All right, complications. What are the complications of uh, influenza. One is pneumonia. Now this can be viral, which is the flu virus, and this can overwhelm and take over the lungs and cause a very devastating infection, or it can be bacterial. Now with bacterial, it can be the normal bacteria that we see with uh, pneumonia, uh, which is several different ones, but of, of a particular interest after a flu-like illness, there's the methicillin-resistant Staph aureus um, that a lot of people hear about in the news, or MRSA. This one is really, really bad and a big problem. Um, you can go along and be fine, and get this, and get really sick really fast. Sepsis is another complication. Um, again, it can be because of the virus itself or another uh, infection with the bacteria. You can get respiratory failure. Um, and again, that's probably going to be related to the pneumonia. Or you can get any other secondary bacterial infections. Um, but these are the main complications. A vast majority of the people, though, with the flu will do just fine and heal without any complications.